been a little while since I have um, been able to get on here and chat with you guys. Um, and so tonight, um, I finally am able to make time. Um, tonight's, it's Thursday when I'm filming this and, um, tonight has been a doozy. Hence my halo top. Um, I discovered that I locked my keys in the car this morning. Um, but I didn't discover it until right after work. And then it was a whole debacle of a situation to try to find a spare key and get back into the car. And long story short, I ended up having to have the local police department come and let me in. And that didn't happen until about 8 o'clock at night. So thank God for amazing parents and um, uh, a co-worker that dropped me off at my mom's house. And we were able to go get the kids with my mom's car. So um, anyways... Um, just wanted to get on and chat for a couple minutes because, um, we're already a week and a half into the new year. And so I've been sticking the keto for almost two weeks. Tomorrow will mark two weeks and I am just feeling so great and so alive. And that's how I felt when I did it the first round. Your body is just functioning on such stronger cylinders and it just doesn't feel like it's like in slow motion. So I just feel so good. Um, I'm feeding my body great stuff. Um, and then I've been listening to so many podcasts during my um, work hours, which is just absolutely awesome. And it's such a blessing that I have the ability to feed my soul, feed my mind while I'm still working and getting paid. Um, my nine to five corporation job isn't exactly... Um, you know, life giving by any means, but it's a, it's a good job and I'm really thankful and grateful for it. But I'm really happy that I can like feed my mind and feed my heart and my soul some inspiration as well while I'm working. Um, a couple different, um, podcasts that I've been listening to Jenna Kutcher's, um, the gold digger podcast is absolutely amazing. Um, Jen Hatmaker for the love. I've been really digging into some of hers and they're just really, really inspirational as well. Um, the, the latest one I've been listening to is Amber Lillystrom. I think Lillystrom, I spelled it, her name's a little funky in the end, but, um, she's been really great too. And it's all about, um, finding, connecting your soul and your heart with your career and your passion and that kind of thing. And it's just been really, really moving. And one of the, um, focus Friday podcasts that she put out, um, it talked about launch it ugly and it really, really resonated with me because that's exactly what I've done here on this space, on this vlog platform. Um, I'm just posting, I'm not editing them. I'm not, you know, making them fancy and maybe someday when I know how to do that I'll add a cool music introduction or some fun text in the box but right now I'm just using this platform to share my heart with you and if one woman can you know relate to me and what I'm sharing and what I'm saying then taking the time to sit here and chat with you guys and taking the time to upload these videos it's worth it it's it makes it you know, fulfilling. Um, today, one of the podcasts I talked about was your influence and your impact is never too small. It doesn't matter if you have thousands of followers or if you have, you know, a mega blog or a mega business making six figures, like your impact is important no matter what size or how big you are. And that really resonated with me too, because I get on here daily and I share my fashion and I share my body positivity posts and I um, be transparent about mothering and parenting and all of that. And that's all really important to me to share with you guys because I know there's so many of you out there going through the same exact thing. And I think that it's hard to see that sometimes when we're in our own bubble and going through our own struggles. So if I can get on here and be vulnerable and share my heart with you, share what God has laid on my heart, um, and it resonates with one of you, that that's enough. I don't have to reach the masses or millions of views or thousands of views. I'll be lucky if I get 10 views. But if I can touch one of your guys' hearts, 
then that it's made, my day's made, and I don't care if I'm launching it ugly right now. My vlog is not much of a vlog. It's really more of an online journal, a, a video journal, honestly. I have a lot of um, topics that I plan to get on here and hopefully film to share with you guys. Um, finding the time right now, kid-free, interruption-free is, is my hard part, is my struggle. Um, I've had different things in my heart all week that I wanted to get on here and share with you guys and get posted, but you know, being a mom comes first and last night I was going to get on here and film and I fell asleep in the glider in Bear's Nursery and never made a bow. <laughs> Chip woke me up and I climbed into bed. So, um, you know, life happens and that's okay too. So when I find time and when I have time, I plan on getting on here and launching it ugly, launching it raw. It's not pretty. It's not edited. It's not perfect. It's, I don't have a white background. I don't have gorgeous, glamorous lights. It's just me and my, my ice cream or my coffee. And it's just chatting with you guys. So, um, here's to hopefully many more vlogs to journal with you. I have so many things in my heart that I feel that God's laid on my heart to share with you guys, to be transparent about, to be vulnerable, um, about. And so, um, I'm just excited to keep this part up. Hopefully get a couple more videos on here than just once every other week or two. Um, because I really like this platform. I really like being able to share my heart this way and having an extended amount of time and not being cut off. So um, I hope that you guys are having a great start to your 2018. Um, I've been working on my keto. I've been working on being content. Um, this whole movement started on Instagram, content, hashtag contentment in 2018, um, which I wasn't even expecting when I set out my goals at the beginning of the year. Um, but this was just kind of a nice thing that has also transpired at the same time. So it's made me more accountable to my goals. Um, we've, we've given up shopping and that includes home decor and makeup and clothing, um, for either 21 days or a three month commitment. And I'm starting out with that 21 days to start out and then we'll see where I'm at at the end of the month. And um, I'm really shooting for the three month goal, but we will see. We have um, uh, a couple house projects and things and I'm still working on kind of decorating um, kind of my new farmhouse style. So um, I'm hoping I'll be able to stick to it, but I can't make any promises. But um, 2018 is off to a great start and I just, I feel like I'm in such a great place emotionally. I'm getting there physically um, with my keto diet. And I just, I feel so alive. I really do. I feel so freed from so many different like burdens, whether it was my eating habits or fear and self-consciousness. And I've talked about that a lot on my Instagram page. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, come give me a follow. It's Hello Robinson Style. Um, I share anything and everything with my life. Um, and I just, I really feel like my heart is in the right place. I'm in the right state of mind um, to tackle a really awesome year. So here's to many more chats with you guys, many more coffee dates. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well.